Given the vast scope and all the different websites and pages that are part of the Google Display Network, it can be very important to retain control over where your ads are showing, and placement targeting is a great way to maintain that control. Just like you can bid on specific keywords when you set up a search campaign, on the Display Network, you can bid on specific placements. Let's take a look at how to set up a placement targeted campaign. On the Campaigns tab of your AdWords account, click on the New Campaign button. Next, open the Campaign Type drop-down box and choose Display Network Only. Now remember, this is a placement targeted campaign and it can only run on the Display Network. Next, you'll need to name your campaign and choose the locations and languages that you want to target. Google offers you some commonly used settings, and other videos in this course go into the detail of these settings, so for now, let's just leave them as they are. We've already set the campaign to display network only, so now we just have to choose which kinds of devices you'd like to target, and then move on to the bidding and budget section. Unlike a search campaign on Google, you'll have the option to use cost per impression, or CPM bidding, when you run a placement targeted campaign which means that you'll be charged for every thousand impressions of your ads regardless of whether or not they're clicked on. Of course, you can still use cost per click bidding, but if you want to use CPM bidding, simply choose that option from the advanced options list. CPM bidding is often a good option for brand awareness campaigns, where you're more interested in eyeballs than in clicks and conversions. Whichever bidding method you choose, you'll also need to set a campaign daily budget. This is just a cap on how much your campaign will be able to spend over the course of a given day. Once you've chosen your daily budget, you're ready to move on to the next step. Keep in mind that there are a variety of advanced options that you can explore before continuing, and we'll talk about those in other videos. For now, we'll just click on the Save and Continue button and move on to creating our first ad group for this campaign. Here, you'll want to name the ad group and then create at least one ad. On the display network, you can use image and video ads as well as text ads, and these can help generate more attention from users. It's time to move on to choosing our placements. Placements are really just websites, and when we say we're going to target a placement, what we mean is that we're going to be bidding to get our ads to show up on a specific website. Scroll down past the keywords section and you'll see the option to select manage placements. If you already know which placements you'd like to target for your campaign, it's easy to enter them at this point. But if you're like most advertisers, you'll be looking for some suggestions. And if that's the case for you, Google has a placement tool available right here, and you can either search for a word or a phrase, or search for a specific website. The placement tool will then return websites in the display network that are relevant to you. So here we can see that the placement tool has returned lots of results that have to do with cooking and recipes, which makes sense, all relevant to garlic olive oil. If we wanted to add a placement, all we have to do is click on the Add button. You can also see which ad formats this particular placement accepts. Here we can see both text and image ads are accepted. We can also see an approximate number of impressions per day that this particular website has. And if we're not sure what's on the other side of that website, we can just click on it and we can see where our ads might show up if we select this placement. Here we can see a banner ad up at the top, and that one could be ours if we decide to use this placement. It's worth noting that you can also use more robust tools like Google's Ad Planner to identify potential placements. Ad Planner isn't an AdWords feature, but rather a standalone tool that you can access at www.google.com slash ad planner. While it's not in the scope of this course, I definitely recommend that you take a look at this for some great insight into the websites that you might want to try to advertise on. Once you've got your placements added to the campaign, you're almost ready to start the campaign. The last thing you need to do is set a managed placements bid. This is the maximum amount that you're willing to pay for either a click or for 1,000 impressions, depending upon whether or not you've chosen CPC or CPM bidding. Once you've set this bid, you're ready to save and activate the campaign. And then you should start to see performance data in your AdWords account within about three hours. If you're looking to expand beyond just search advertising, placement targeting is a great way to access the vast reach of the display network while maintaining control over where your ads are shown. 
Once you've done the hard part of identifying the sites that you want to target your ads to, setting up a campaign like this takes only a few minutes, so it's easy to get started.